this is Tracy and today I have a video for you guys that I don't think I have seen on YouTube. I could be wrong. I'm sure you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And I don't even know what I'm going to title this. So if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to the family. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that notification. The, hit, the, hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like this video while you're watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I have that are supposedly dupes for their higher end counterparts, which I don't have. So I thought it would be a fun idea and something different and I hope no one else has done this video before because I'm trying so hard to come up with original content and it's so hard because like everything's been done. So I don't know, maybe it has been done, maybe it hasn't. So let's jump into the video. The first one I have is a dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. And this one I got off of Shop Hush and this is made by Beauty Creations and it's called Irresistible. So that's what it looks like. And I believe you actually get one additional extra color in this palette because the Modern Renaissance has 14 and this one has 15. So you're getting a bonus, extra one extra shadow. I've used this one and it does work nicely and I've seen other people who have used this as well and they liked it. So that's my first one for Anastasia Modern Renaissance. And then the next one I got that is supposed supposedly being a dupe of some sort is the new Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. And it's got those, you know, vibes here of the modern renaissance it's got that light pink that dark pink and then the shimmery i think it's called primavera in the modern renaissance palette so i just got this one i did use this yesterday and it blended out really nice and i, I was able to make a really nice look with it i got that at rite aid and then the next one I have, this is also from Shop Hush. This is made by Bad Habit, and this is called the Aura Palette. And this is a dupe for the Prism Palette. And I have seen people that have both of the palettes, and they said, honestly, this one is better than the Anastasia one. So these, I, I don't even know how they can make these, like, so good. Let me show you some swatches on these. I mean, the pigmentation is insane. Like, this is the sparkly green one here called Ecstasy. And then the orange one is called Mystique. And then the blue one is called Destiny. So, I mean, they're just so nice. I'm like super excited because every palette that I've bought from this bad habit has been awesome. So the next palette I have is one that kind of had a little bit of controversy. It is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade. So obviously this is a dead ringer for the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I mean, it is exactly, and she had even called them out on, um, I think it was Instagram talking about you guys can't make your own pro, you know, come up with your own ideas. And I'm like, I have that palette. Don't say that. So those are a couple of the colors swatched. And I've used it a few times for the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And then my next, this is uh, supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And this is also by Makeup Revolution. And this one's called Death by Chocolate. It's got the super cool melting bar here. And that's what it looks like. It's got a mirror in it. So let's see, let's try this purple one. I haven't really used this one, 
a whole lot because it seems like I'm always buying something new and that's why I did like when I was doing that Saturday switch up because it was making me use items that I had not used. This is a palette though that I will pull in like if I have an all shimmer palette and I need mattes because it has some nice neutral mattes in it and I know those neutrals and you can just you know pull it in if you need to along with a palette that might not have every shade you need so I do use that in that sense and then the next one I have is also by Makeup Revolution and this one's called Chocolate Love and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and these colors are right, right up my alley. I love me some pinks and some purples. Let's see. And I'm not even like pressing hard. So that was this pink here, this purple, and this green. So it's just a nice palette. I mean, Again, I have not, you know, used it for a while because I keep buying new stuff. So, I think I need to get back on that train of I'm only going to use like one or two palettes this week. And then, you know, but I just got, you guys, eyeshadow palettes are my weakness. Like, I don't really care about like whatever other stuff I have. Now, this next one is also by Bad Habit and this is called Supernova. And this is supposedly a dupe for the Natasha Denona Lila palette. And you guys all know how much that one is. $129 for one eyeshadow palette. I think that's insane. I will never, ever, ever be paying $129 for an eyeshadow palette. I don't care if it jumps off the palette and puts the makeup on my face by, by itself. I'm not spending that kind of money on an eyeshadow palette. This one was 12 bucks because I bought it in a bundle with the sister palette, Solstice, which is also a Natasha Denona dupe. So this one is the Supernova. This is the one that's supposed to be a dupe of the Lila palette. And I love this palette. You guys see all those pinky and purples right up my alley. I mean, if you can have a palette that performs this good for $12, love this. It has a nice mirror for those of you that care. I don't care because I don't use the mirrors and palettes, but love these colors. So this one's called the Supernova by Bad Habit. And then this is the Solstice palette by Bad Habit, which is also a dupe for... Dun, 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 dun. the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. So, let's see, I was trying. I'm barely even dipping into it and I'm using very, very light, I mean, light strokes with my hand. And I mean, this is insane. <sighs> Let me do like the yellow, cause that's, I know one of the, one of the top, you know, things, and the yellow is a matte one. And look at that. Is that crazy? They're just, I mean, they're so good. I, like, I don't know why anyone would spend, I mean, I guess if you're rich. And that is the Solstice palette by Bad Habit. I think these are out of stock right now. But I'm not sure so you just have to check and you want to make sure that you go to the app because the app has exclusive um, you know deals and they have ex palettes that are exclusive to the app where you just want to buy one palette you don't have to pay shipping they're gonna ship this to you for $12 and that's it which is really nice because this girl I hate to pay for shipping just saying now this is also by Bad Habit and this is called the Aphrodite palette. And this, 
This is a dupe for the Huda, Huda Booty Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, which is sixty-five dollars. I'm still not paying sixty-five bucks. And yes, I know I suck at swatches. So this one is twelve dollars. Yeah, it may even be ten dollars. It, I think when it first came out, it was ten dollars, but then it they went up to twelve. But I mean, twelve bucks for this, and the quality is amazing, amazing. I don't know. I I like it has me like going through my head like how do they do this like how can they make such high quality stuff for so cheap I mean this just goes to show you how overpriced all the makeup is I, I mean it's ridiculous if they can make a palette like this that looks exactly like another palette I mean granted these may not be the same quality I don't know I haven't tried the real stuff but this is good quality to me, and that's all that matters. But I just, I don't know how they do it. It's like insane, because if they can do it for this price, I'm going to buy this price. And I would really like for them to come out with a dupe for the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar Palette. Because that, I've got my eyes on. But it's $49. So I don't have my eyes on it that much. But I do have my eyes on it. I'm like thinking... Next month's my birthday at Ulta. I'm going to get a $10 off coupon. That would make it $39. I'm like trying to rationalize in my head here. And then I'm like, nah, I bet you Bad Habit's going to come out with a dupe. So I'm going to wait. So the next one I have is the Athena palette by Bad Habit. And this is the dupe to the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And I mean, it's like a dead ringer. Even this glitter, I know people were talking about it and they were like, oh my God, they even duped the glitter, the glitter in here. So, I mean, mm, I love this one. I think this is one of my favorites. Beautiful. So this one, dupe for the Desert Dusk palette. And when that came out, I was like, oh my God, that thing is so beautiful. I want it, I want it, I want it. And I was like, I'm not, like, like you can want it all you want, girl, but you ain't gonna, you're not going to get it for $65. And then I was hearing mixed reviews that some people said that they couldn't, it was really hard to work with and it wasn't getting the, you know, the best reviews. So then that turned me off and I was like, eh, see, I didn't need it anyway. <sighs> Got a couple more items here. You guys know the, the the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is my second one, but I didn't want to open it <clears throat> yet because I have like a bunch of mascaras open. You guys know me and my lash princess. Love this. And then my Wet n Wild Mega Length for the bottom lashes. But I have like I have a purple mascara open. I have a Ulta Beauty mascara open. I have a, the L'Oreal Voluminous, the blue open. I just, I have too many open, so I didn't want to open this, but I did want to show you guys this in the video. And I have heard people say that they like this better than the Too Faced one. So, I mean, if, if people are saying they like it better than the original stuff, and I mean, it's obvious that this was what they were doing. They, I mean, it's got the same wand. And I mean, I think they did an awesome job. And this is, I want to say $8.99. And I believe the Too Faced one is 23 maybe. So, this one is good. I have used it. It's my second tube. And then this one, I've heard people say that this is a, do oh, this is the e.l.f. Um, I don't even know which one this is called because it's not on the back. It's a duo blush and a bronzer. And I heard people say that this was a dupe for, 
feels like it's drying out. I haven't used it in a while. A dupe for NARS's orgasm. So I don't know how true that is. But it's pretty. So if it is a dupe, it is. If it's not, I showed you guys a pretty blush. Let me see if I, there's own any of the originals, so I don't know. Okay, my next dupe is the Essence Make Me Brow. Obviously, a dupe for the Benefit. Um, what is it called? Benefit. What is a Benefit one called? <gasps> Gimme Brow. So this is the lighter one. And this is the darker one. So the darker one is called Brownie Brows. And then the lighter one is called Soft brownie brows. So both of these, I pretty much use these every day. I think I used the light one on it today. And it does, it, it, you can tell that it's holding your brows in place, but they're not like super crunchy and like, you know, you can just tell that like they're set. So I use my pencil and then I go in and I use uh, a brow gel. And these are $2.99 at Ulta. And I think the essence, uh, the the Benefit Gimme Brow, I want to say it's 24 or somewhere around that price range. So $2.99 and half the times these are on sale, buy one, get one 50% off. So that's a steal. $2.99. Awesome. Okay, I have one eyeliner, liquid eyeliner pen that um, is supposed to, supposedly I hear people say that this Physician's Formula this is called their eye booster and this is in the ultra black i hear i've heard lots of people say it's a dupe for the kat von d liquid in trooper the liquid pen in trooper so there's that and like i said i don't have the original so i i can't like say total dupe total not dupe but I have seen you know I watch my fair share of dupes and I have seen this and I have heard them say that this is a dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper so this is Physician's Formula and I want to say these are $14.99 but if you watched my deal alert last week you'll know that I got this along with a brow product together in a pack for $2.99 on clearance at Rite Aid so you guys need to check your Rite Aids. They have tons of stuff on clearance right now. So I was able to get this basically for $1.50. And I, I don't really do like liquid eyeliners, but I'm, that's one of the things this year that I'm going to learn how to do so that I can show you that I learned it. Maybe I'll learn it on camera with you and like try to do it. I don't know. So we'll see. But yeah, this is supposedly a dupe for the Kat Von D eyeliner in Trooper. And then the last four items here that I have, these are um, eyebrow pencils. So these are um, dupe, dupes to the Anastasia Modern, Re Modern Renaissance. God. The, what's it called? Brow is. <laughs> the brain just gave out on me and I did have the brow is I just finished it up so I, I have had it and I do know what the brow is is like and any one of these I would for sure pick over paying $21 for that when these are like super cheap I'll tell you the prices on each of them this is the LA girl shady slim eyebrow pencil it's got a nice little spoolie it's got your little thin tip, and this is in the color brunette. So, you know, let's do it on my, my hand, I think. So that's brunette from the LA Girl. And this is $4.99. You can find this at CVS, and tons of times these are on sale. Like, spend 10 and get a $4 extra extra care buck back so it's usually on sale and you can find even if it's on sale to 
Now the next one I have is, this is my favorite one. Like I love this even better than the Anastasia one. This is the ColourPop, it's just called Brow Pencil and this is in <clears throat> Banging Brunettes. Now the only thing with this you don't want to do is like don't try to twist it all the way up. Like I'm going to see how much product's in here because you're not going to be able to get it back down. Once you twist it up, that's it. It won't retract. So you have to be really careful that, you know, so I just do a little bit at a time and then twist it back up. Doesn't bother me at all. Like some people I've heard, you know, them say, oh, I have to stop and like, you know, <clears throat> crank it back up some more, but I don't care because I love this. I love this. This is my favorite one. And I have four backups of this one. So this is in the color, like I said, Bangin' Brunette. And it's super smooth and creamy. It just glides on. I don't have to tug. I just, and it just, zip, just goes right on. It's like creamy, but not too creamy. Like, it's not hard. It's not waxy. And that's what I like in a brow pencil. And then the next one we have here is the Brow Stylist Definer. And I also did a video of the Battle of the Brow Pencils, and I'm going to link that below if you want to check that out. So this one is by L'Oreal. And this one's a little bit harder, like more of the waxy texture. Now this one really reminds me of the Anastasia one because to me the Anastasia brow is that I had was kind of, you know, I had to, seemed like I had to tug a little bit more. And this is just in brunette. And once again, this is the brow stylist definer. And my last one is from um, BH Studio and this is their HD brow pencil and brunette. This is what it looks like. It too has a spoolie. And this is in brunette. And this has a harder texture to it as well. So, those friends are all of the dupes that I don't own the original of. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to name this video. So I will have it up and I know this is like a super long video so if you want to break it up and watch some now some later get a snack whatever I think this is like the longest video I've ever ever made. So those are all of my dupes and I hope that you guys found this useful fun or that you were able to take something away from it or take your mind off of maybe something else you were thinking of and i hope you enjoyed it and if you do give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.